Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. All right, let's uh, wander around a little bit. So this is the uh, the map, the world map of the game, essentially. And we're getting uh, something. Well, this calls for some magic, I think. All right, let's dazzle him and then uh, do a force bolt. This is a croc. Let's dazzle again. You see a bipedal saurian croc with scaly skin. The battle is about to begin. Alright, I'm not a big fan of combat in this game. Ooh, it's flaming. Um, it is very possible to uh, interrupt your attacks, so your own attacks. So I, I am not a fan of it. You can't button mash. Um, up to 31 puzzle points. I have uh, I lost a little bit of health. I'm not sure. I guess I did get hit a little bit, but stamina's down. Mana's down. It's okay. Um, okay, that's okay. I actually wanted to search the corpse, but thank you. Find three royals in its pouch. Incidentally, um, you'll get different amounts of money depending on where you fight these guys. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted, actually. I wanted the uh, time. All right, yeah. Um, it is fairly uh, safe to rest in the savannah without a fire. Uh, we'll be getting a, we'll be uh, getting the means to make a fire, but uh, there we go. All right, we got. I hear the sounds of a giant ant. Let's go ahead and dazzle it again. Force bolt. Might as well just blow all of our magic points if we can. Uh, it's not... There we go. The battle is about to begin! So, I... The, uh, um, the bodies of these enemies are fixed. And I am not sure... I find it very hard to tell when they're, um... You know, when they're actually hitting, other than the sound. You know, when they're about to hit, that kind of thing. I just... I don't know, I just find it very... Confusing. You don't find anything useful, yeah. Alright, let's, uh... Let's see, what can we do? Uh, let's detect magic. Well, we could use detect magic. Uh, what else do we have? Well, oh, nothing seems to have been triggered. The weapon is now magically charged. Well, now I kind of want to go fight something again, <laughs> since I just zapped my weapon. Didn't quite mean to, but... Alright, it's actually... Um... camp now. Yes. Uh, no, because I don't have a tinderbox. Okay, so I just did that so that I could get onto the screen. Whee! Not a big fan of the uh, magic sound effects in this game either. This is the most expensive one I have, right? Pretty much. that. It's reversal. Let's cast that. Feeling of peace and tranquility fills the area. How are we doing on the uh, MP? 96. Oh, man. We have a long way to go. You 
can't open that. Uh, it's fun to just uh, cast spells. You didn't manage to fetch anything. Let's just go with these for a little bit. We do want to get Force Bolt and Flame Dart to be pretty powerful. Make combat a little bit easier. Now how are we doing? 37. Time now. Yeah, okay. Do I have enough? No. How much do I have left? Two. Just go with the detect. Um. Wait. I have enough to cast detect magic. Oh, whatever. Fine, be that way. All right, let's go ahead and run, and we'll get back to the. Uh, Hopefully, it's not quite too late. Tarna! Hi, guys! And there are people out at midnight. It's great. Right, I don't think it's too late to eat, so... I think, oh. thought that I just used a... Uh... Oh, okay. I guess I have to click on the table. Let's see if she's still serving food. I'm not sure exactly how late it is. Hello, hair of sunshine. What can I do for you? Um, let's say hello. You greet the welcome woman. Marhaba, Fendi. You are most welcome here, he who is polite. Uh, let's ask about the inn. This inn is always open to serve you. There is a room awaiting you up the stairs. Uh, tell me about the room. The, the user of Great Magic Kresha has reserved a room for you upstairs. Your room is the first on the right and has safe storage inside. Uh, tell me about Kresha. Of all the Liontars in Tarna, Kresha, may her magic always be mighty, is the only one who lives in the human section of Tarna. She is respected by all and a member of the Council of Judgment. Tell me about the Council. The Council of Judgment and Raja, may he reign forever, rule Tarna. Uh, section? The humans of Tarna live in this western section. The Liontars live over in the eastern section. Which we can't actually go to. Uh, price. The room expense, the expense of the room will be covered by she who has magic, Kresha. Storage? In your room you will find a chest that only you can open. You can use it to store extra items. Um, what's your name? My name is Jana Jamil, which means beautiful paradise in Arabic. There's no Arab, there's, there's no Arabia in this game. Uh, restaurant? Like all good inns, this has a very good restaurant. We serve meals from dawn until midnight. Many who live in the city dine with us. Ah, good, I did make it before midnight. Uh, tell me about the residence. Most humans who live in Tarna will not be able to speak your language unless they are merchants. However, Katib Mukaram, the survivor of the peace mission, comes here and sometimes comes here sometimes and used to speak your language well. Uh, used to? Tell me about the merchants. There are many merchants in the bazaar of Tarna. Uh, survivor. Katib Mukaram was once a brilliant speaker and diplomat for Tarna. Since he returned from the peace mission, he has been very ill and seldom speaks. Mission? Before you arrived here, the rulers of Tarna sent out some diplomats to meet with the leopard men in the jungle. Only Karib returned. 
which is why he is called the Survivor. Uh, service. You have only to be seated upon a pillow, and I will enter to serve you as best I may. Don't say. Uh, Tarna. Tarna is a large city and kingdom. The stairs down from this plateau lead to the bazaar, where merchants of many lands sell their goods. From the stairs above us, you can see the entrance to the Hall of, the, of Judgment in the King's Chambers. Above all in Tarna is the Temple of Sekhmet, where the Liontars worship the Great Goddess. May she protect us all. Uh, tell me about the bazaar. The bazaar is the place where you will find almost anything for sale. It is an experience and a pleasure shopping there. Uh, judgment? The Hall of Judgment is where law, all laws and decisions are made for Tarna. Chambers. I am told that the king may long may he uh, long may he rule has his throne room there. Oh, he does. Uh, tell me about Sekhmet. Sekhmet, daughter of the sun, is the goddess of Tarna. And tell me about the temple. The temple of Sekhmet is for Liontars only. No human may enter there. You know, um, I think this is the first deity that we've actually seen uh, encountered in this game. Uh, Liontars. Liontars are the rightful rulers of Tarna. Kind of surprised to hear a human say that. Um, all right, how about... Let's tell about Shapir. You tell the welcome woman about your adventures in Shapir. You are indeed quite a hero seeker of peace. And let's order a meal. You order a meal. I will bring you a meal right out. See if we have an opportunity to flirt after this. Might not be able to. Um, I'll probably do that in the morning if that's the case. Why, thank you. Here is your feast. May it please you. Hmm, this food looks strange, but smells delicious. You pay the welcome woman for your meal. Be welcome, and may you enjoy it. Okay, yeah, I'll have to do that in the morning. Or maybe tomorrow night. I don't know, something like that. You enjoy your, your meal. It was very tasty, even if it was a bit strange. You're getting tired. No one seems to be listening. Aww. All right, well, let's, uh... Let's head up uh, um, to our room. I don't think there's much that we need to deposit right now. I suppose I could deposit some stuff. Yeah, no, it's okay. Now I'll just go get some rest. Uh, sleep till morning. I, don't I need a, a blanket or something? It, it feels I feel silly just lying here. Well, at least it's not like Rasir with the uh, the rat stealing our uh, our blanket all the time. That might be the guy. Let's uh, let's take a look. So the the people do change. This man looks like he's a real turkey. Alright, we've seen him and him. I've not seen him. This man seems more interested in his food than in you. And her. You see a woman wearing a red skirt. Can we talk to any of them? Nope. 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 You recall that this means she doesn't understand you. Damn it. Oh well. Um, I guess we could, uh, well, no, we'll deal with that later. We'll head back down to the bazaar. There's some things that we need to buy. Hello? I think you have some things that, uh... Aren't I, aren't I close enough to, uh... Look at this stuff! You ever seen any better partially used items anywhere? I thought we were calling, the, calling it mostly new. Will you just get out of here and let me handle this dummy? Uh, let's greet. You greet the junk dealers. Hello. What can we sell you today? Let's buy junk goods. Tinderbox. 
Let's go ahead and bargain. Let's see if I can how low I can get this. Let's go down to 130. I doubt I can get it that low. Make offer. You've got to be kidding! For this genuine, guaranteed, no money back antique, I can't accept less than 200 comments. Pop, it's only a tinderbox. Who's a dummy around here, dummy? Any rate, I'll accept 200 comments for the item. Look, I'll make you a deal for this. Uh, let's try 160. Ah, 154. Make offer. Okay, it's a deal. What do you mean it's okay? You wanna lose us all our money, dummy? I'm coming, Lisbeth. I'm coming soon. My only son is trying to give away all the new, all the things we worked for. That's it. It's the big one. Oh, pop. Yeah. They, if if it wasn't obvious by now, um, and if I didn't say it in a previous episode, it's Sanford and Son. I I mentioned this to my father that the game that that the Quest for Glory games uh, tended to have jokes like this, uh, um, and he was like. Wouldn't that go over most people's heads who play this game? Perhaps. It doesn't go over my head. Let's go ahead and purchase that. You're always welcome back if you want to buy something. Pay for it and put it away in your pack. Alright, good. Well, I think we're going to need some honey, so... Uh... Golden sunshine and essence of flowers distilled for your pleasure, Effendi. Hello. Let's go ahead and greet... And let's go ahead and buy honey. Uh, let's go ahead and bargain. Let's see. So 80. Let's see if he will take 56. Surely you do not seek to cheat an honest honey seller out of a few comments, Effendi. 75. Will you go down to 65? That will do nicely, good sir. All right. I'll purchase that. Thank you. You are most generous and kind, Effendi. Alrighty. It's not that big of a deal to get super low prices on these things anyway, so... I love oil for cooking fine foods. Oil for whatever. Something like that. I don't... I missed that. Well, let's greet. Greet the oil seller. And... Let's buy some oil. I don't think I need this as a... Um, Paladin, but I'll buy some anyway. Uh, let's see if he'll take 60. Uh, make offer. If I accepted your offer, I would lose money. However, because you are such a fine man, I will make you a deal. Uh, 93? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Let's go down to 74. Very well, you have outbargained me, and I shall remain a poor man forever. Why, thank you. May you slide easily and quickly through life, Effendi. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. Alrighty. Hello! Uh, let's buy a weapon. So he sells a throwing dagger, fine spear, and a fine dagger. Uh, we are going to need a fine dagger. Uh, he will not buy... Bargain? Oh, no. Now he will. Okay. Uh, let's bargain. Um, will you take ten royals? So be it. You have bargained beyond my skills, and I am overwhelmed. The deal is now yours. Oh, well. Thank you. Right off the bat. It is good. We are happy. I am happy. We have done well. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. All right. Um... I guess he only had the one. All right, fine spear. I'll need one of these. Let's bargain. Will you take... That's that's going to be way too low. Will you take eight? I would be losing more money than I would earn for such a price. My friend, make me another offer. All right, how about nine? I will starve at such a price. However, since you are a most excellent customer, I will listen to your next offer. All right, how about ten? So be it. You have bargained beyond my skills, and I am overwhelmed. The deal is now yours. Why, thank you. 
Alright, I don't need any throwing daggers, so I'm not going to buy any. No, thank you. Uh, let's go off here. Beads, beads, very fine beads. Hello, lady. Let's greet. You greet the bead maker. Naharaksa e defendi. Um, let's talk to her since we haven't had a chance to talk to her. Uh, let's ask about beads. Very good beads. Very pretty, Effendi. You buy pretty beads. Uh, tell me about the bazaar. Bazaar? Mafintish, Effendi. Uh oh. I don't think she understands. Uh, rumors? Nope. Mm, very good beads, Effendi. Very pretty. I guess she doesn't speak my language very well. Um, let's buy beads. Uh, 95, uh, commons? Can we bargain? Can, you know, let's use the keyboard. How about 70? Very good beads, 95 commons, Effendi. Okay, she doesn't bargain because she doesn't under the understand the, uh, um, language. We'll just purchase. Uh, we need some. Good, Qatar Karak Memnon Effendi. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. No thanks. All right, let's go uh, say hi to this uh, this guy over here. Fresh fish. Good day, Effendi. Would you not like some fresh fish for supper? Uh, I suppose I I could use some fresh fish. Let's greet. You say hello to the fish seller. Hello, Effendi. Nice day. You feeling hungry? Maybe yes. Fresh fish. Uh, tell me about your fish. Ah, you like fish. Very fine fresh fish I have I. Fresh fish from the river are one royal, but if you do not cook them fast, they will not be fresh. However, one who does much traveling, a hero as yourself, may need a fish that is always fine and tasty, if a little chewy. Maybe you like some dried fish for 50 commons, perhaps, Effendi. Uh, tell me about the bazaar. You like the bazaar, Effendi? It is a good place to be meeting with people. It is a very good place to be to buy my fresh fish, Effendi. Probably not going to be buying your fresh fish. Just saying. Uh, rumors. The people who live on the river are very much frightened when they go near the waterfall. I have been hearing much talk of strange monsters. Mm, excuse me. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, tell me about yourself. All right. Mostly am I, but my sister is not very happy. Find me a rich husband, says my sister. I do not know any rich men, says I. Will you be looking for a good wife, Effendi? My sister is really very nice. Um, I'm not exactly rich. You know, just being the son of a sultan and all. <laughs> uh, forget I said that last part. Uh, let's buy some fish. Yeah, we can only buy dried fish. Let's go ahead and bargain. Uh, it's about the same price as uh, the fruit. Let's see if we can get them down to 34. If I sell my fish for such a price, my sister would be very angry. You sell your fish too cheap, says, my, says she. But for you, Effendi, I will make a deal. Uh, 47. I guess this guy does not bargain much. Can you go to 38? It is a very fine dried fish for such a low price, Effendi, but you are a good bargainer, says I. Alright, I'll purchase one. Thank you, thank you very much, Effendi. May you never have a day without fish. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. Alright, no thanks. Let me just take a quick look at my... Alright, I'm getting puzzle points. Honor is all fine. Vitality is up, that's good. Intelligence went up a little bit. A thousand greetings, Effendi. Do you need to climb something? A rope can be most handy. Hello, how are you? You say hello to the rope maker. A pleasure to see you again, my friend. Uh, have you heard any rumors? There was word on the street that the Liontars have brought in a peacekeeping task force to prevent the Simbani Leopardmen war. This is good. We do not need a war here. Uh, tell me about your the bazaar. This bazaar extends north to the money changer and south to the docks, Effendi. You could buy all of your rope needs here, of course. And tell me about yourself. It makes me a weak 
it makes me but a week to weave, uh, oh, it takes me, sorry. It takes me but a week to weave a rope, Effendi. Even so, the things which make a rope must be gathered all the time by my son, Sahid. Alright, um, I'm not sure if, uh, the paladin needs some, but, uh, we'll go ahead and buy some rope. Uh, 100 car commons. Let's see if we can bargain him down maybe to 60. Alright, 52 then. <laughs> Make offer. I must support a wife, a son, and two daughters with the sale of this rope. Surely you could afford to pay this much this much for such... So find a rope. 93. Yeah, I'm not sure that this guy uh, bargains much. Let's go down to 64. The rope will resist both fire and wear, Effendi. You cannot find a better one anywhere for this price. Will you take 75? Eh, 76. I will accept your offer, and you shall own a fine rope. Alright. Thank you. A thousand thanks, Effendi. May your rope always be at your service. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. Alright, now I'm going to take a quick save here. Uh, because I am going to show something. That I think will blow some of my paladin's honor in the next screen. And obviously, I don't want to uh, lose my uh, paladin's honor. I should look at that screen when we come back to it. Uh, first of all... Oh. Well, shucks. Good day, Effendi. I'll do that him uh, later. First of all, this guy. Hello, master, hello. May this magic curb be of service to you. May I have the pleasure of selling some tasty meat to you. Uh, let's greet him. You greet the meat seller. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, master, hello. So if we buy meat... Um, so he's selling meat rations for 27 copper, uh, commons. We bargain. We can actually take this all the way down to one, and he will agree to it. Oh, goody, goody, goody. If the good master offers a price, I will accept it. I am the most lucky cow in the world. So, yeah, you, you can, you can purchase it. Oh, most magnanimous, magnificent, munificent, beneficent. Benevolent, malevolent, non-violent, ultra-violent, ultra-liberal lover of small furry animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. May your meat never molder or crawl with disgusting, creepy maggots. You won't regret this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. Alright, I think that that costs some, uh... uh it does not, actually. Hmm. I could have sworn that did. Still, I feel really bad doing that. That's that's almost cheating. It's not it's not truly cheating, but it feels like it. All right, let's look around the screen before we go on. The buckets have a variety of wiggling fish. On the boxes, you can see some cleaned fresh fish. You can also see some dried fish for traveling rations. This guy smells fishy. You would, too, if you sold fish all day. You see some fishing poles set for truly relaxed fishing. You can see some finely woven ropes. This guy looks like quite a character. There are lariats and lassos looped over the stand. You see an odd assortment of brassworks. You see an odd assortment of brassworks. You see a tent filled with strings of beads. She reminds you of your grandmother. Alright, technically it's uh, the end of the episode, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy everything that I can here. Talk to people and stuff like that. Good day, Effendi. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, greet. Hey, it's a, it's a kata. You say hello to the kata. It is a pleasure to speak with you always. Well, let's tell about Shapir. You tell about your adventures in Shapir. It is such a pleasure to hear news of my homeland. I cannot express my happiness for, from your story. Um, let's ask about carvings. 
From the beautiful wood of the jungles of Tarna, I carve the wild animals which roam this land. Uh, tell me about Kata. Thank you for your for the kindness of asking about me. I am feeling rather homesick for news of Shapir right now. Uh, tell me about the bazaar. The bazaar is a very friendly place to be with so many talented people with which to deal. Have you heard any rumors? I have been told by my dear friend Shiraka Dara Rosh that a great Liontar paladin has returned to Tarna with you. My friend says that Rakish Satarna is the greatest ruler Tarna has ever had. You walk with a true hero, my friend. Um, uh, let's show him the sapphire pin. You are the gift of the Kata, friend. The magic of the sapphire pin will always reveal that you are the Kata's hero, and always hide from the sight of an enemy. Um, tell about Shima. You tell about your friendship with Shima and how she cared for you while you stayed at her inn. My Aunt Shima was always so sweet to me as she was with you. It is so good to think of her again. Oh, hey. I think this is the guy who uh, we need to give this uh, letter to. We'll look at the other stuff in our inventory soon. Thank you for your kindness in bringing the, me this note from my Aunt Shima. It is so wonderful to have news of home. It is sad to be so far from Shapir and those for which I care. For which I care. Well, you know, I think I'm going to um, do you another service and buy a carving from you. You decide to buy the carved leopard. It will give me great pleasure to give you this leopard as a gift, my friend. I hope you will accept it as a token of our friendship. And I think you get that for free if you've talked to him and given him the note. It might just require you to give the, uh, give the note. I'm not sure. But we did get points for it, too. Um, all right, enough already. Uh, let's go see if we can talk to this uh, drummer guy. You gonna talk to me? No? I guess I go up there. He smiles and shakes his head. He doesn't seem to know your language. Alrighty, well, uh, let's try just giving him a little donation. The drummer smiles as you give him ten co commons. Excellent! You got some points for that. Hello. Good day, Effendi. Good day, indeed. Uh, let's greet. Greet the cloth seller. I am honored, Effendi. Well, let's ask about cloth. I will be happy to sell you some fine clothes and robes worthy of a prince, Effendi. I also sell bolts of cloth for the making of clothes. Uh, tell me about your clothes. The clothes which I sell are very elegant and designed for formal occasions, Effendi. And tell me about your robes. The robes which I sell are more suited to the nat natives of this land. The Simbani wear them for special ceremonies and events. Uh, tell me about the bazaar. This is the southernmost end of the bazaar, Effendi. Have you heard any rumors? Forgive me, Effendi, but I do not listen to gossip, nor do I spread it. And tell me about yourself. I am most well, thank you, Effendi. I, I wanted to know your name. Well, fine. Um, buy cloth? You do not see anything you really need right now. Hmm. Okay, let's buy a robe. Uh, let's go ahead and bargain. Can we get you down to eight? That will be acceptable, Effendi. Why, thank you. Let's go ahead and purchase one. Thank you, Effendi. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. I can't believe that that does not drop my uh, honor by paying him only one common. I have an amulet guaranteed to ward off moose. Since you recall that there are no moose in Fricana, that amulet might actually work. Then again... Let's greet him. You greet the amulet seller. Good day, Buana. May I, Can I interest you in an amulet? Um... Apparently we can't buy an amulet from him. Tell me about your amulets. Buana, amulets are magical and can do many things. I have amulets of protection and prevention. I have amulets of attraction. All amulets are guaranteed to work when used correctly. I sell these magical items for a mere th 30 royals. Uh, tell me about the bazaar. The bazaar at Tarna is the place to buy magical amulets, Buana. Uh, tell me about rumors. Someone told me that the fish seller knows better than to eat his own fish. And tell me about yourself. 
Fine, Bona, fine. Can I sell you an amulet which prevents accidental death by vacuum cleaners? Sure, that would be awesome. I am always in need of one of those. Let's say goodbye. You say goodbye to the amulet seller. Wait, you have not purchased an amulet yet. You look around the stand at the various amulets of dubious quality, and you decide to waste your money elsewhere. <laughs> Indeed. There's nothing you can buy from him. Hello, Master, hello. May this magic curb be of service to you. May I have the pleasure of selling some tasty meat to you? Well, let's go ahead and uh, greet. You greet the meat seller. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Master, hello. Uh, let's ask about uh, rumors. Have you heard any good rumors? Oh, generous and gracious master, a secret, a secret I have found for you. It was buried deep as a bone, but un but I undug it for you. It ran like a rabbit, but I chased it for you. Listen, oh master, and you shall hear the most wondrous news I have heard heard this year. Yes, this this is truly wondrous news. It is said that the Cubs have won the World Series. That, that's, yeah, that is definitely a rumor. I don't believe it at all. Um, tell me about the bazaar. You wish to ask me, the dog of Tarna, about the bazaar? I am honored and overjoyed. I am overwhelmed and underpaid. I am piddling at your feet with pride. Oh, great. Now I need new boots. You ask me about the bazaar? This, this, this is the bazaar. Yeah, he's kind of slow, shall we say. Tell me about your meat. Meat? You want to know about my meat? No, oh god. Oh, put your pants back on, please. You actually want to know about my meat? How wonderful, how glorious. You're asking me, miserable mongrel of a meat merchant, me, about my meat? Yes, this is the meat for you. It's the flesh for a pharaoh, meat made for monarchs, the sustenance of sultans. We have rub roast of rhino, withers of wildebeest, and aged ankle of antelope. There's the stew of the new, and the zebu too. There's fillet of frog, and foot of warthog, the tongue of the tapir, done in by a rapier. That, that doesn't actually work, because it's rapier, not... Whatever. I have the brain of a baboon, the lungs of a loon, and the heart of a hippopotamus, and the pancreas of a platypus. Choose from cold cuts of camel, sliced sl slivers of sloth, my choice chops of cheetah, or bush bucks of in broth. Caref care for elephant fritters, or porcupine pie, an ounce of fresh ostrich, or bandicoot thigh? They're all to be eaten, if only you'll buy. But if you won't buy them, I swear that I'll cry. Aww, don't cry. Tell me more about meat. On second thought, you'd rather not know. <laughs> um, enough already. Okay, let's go ahead and buy some meat. Uh, let's go ahead and bargain. We'll take him down to 15. That's still a decent price. Let's make an offer. Oh, goody, goody, goody. If the good master offers a price, I will accept it. I am the most lucky the cow in the world. Let's go ahead. Oops. Uh, I actually want to purchase a bit more than that. Let's go for that. Alright, we're done here. Um, let's uh, go ahead and look around. You see a cat-like creature known as the as a kata from the land of Shapir. He has a friendly face and gentle eyes. You see the place of the kata carver. This drummer looks like he really enjoys his music. Here sit some hogs' heads and a heart. There hangs the carcass of some unknown animal. A most distinct odor surrounds this stand. Ex-sitting ducks and, a, and stool pigeons. This creature is some sort of humano humanoid canine. His clothes are neat and clean, if a bit hairy, and he has the unfortunate tendency to drool a, a bit as he pants. Well, at least he's wearing pants. Well, actually, he's not wearing pants, now that I look at him. On the rack, you see a variety of amulets, some obvious, some obscure. There is an anti-aircraft amulet, an in-law repellent, garlic and dead mouse, and an aluminum siding salesman alert. Oh, man. A, a, an aluminum siding salesman alert? Oh, I should totally get one of those. You see rows of amulets hanging down. There's a tiger deterrent amulet. Must really work since there are no tigers in Fricana. An ardor attractor says, kiss me, I'm Irish on it. And an I like Ike button. This man looks slightly disre disreputable and untrustworthy. 
The stand has amulets of many types, shapes, and sizes. One amulet has a sign which says, Ward Against Starvation, and looks like a string of dried fish. One amulet reads, Frostbite, Frostbite Preventer, and looks like fuzzy mittens. This woman looks attractive, but she has a haughty expression. You see some more brightly colored fabric. You see cloth of many colors and materials draped over the rack. Let's actually look at our inventory, the stuff that we've purchased. Uh, we've purchased a fine dagger, weighs 60 quarks. This is a long dagger, suitable for close-in fighting. It is not balanced properly for throwing. Fine spear, it's a well-made spear. Tinderbox. This tinderbox, tinderbox contains some loose dry tinder, a piece of flint, and a steel bar you can strike to create a fire. Dried fish. If you were starving to death, this might look appetizing. Dried meat. You have ten. You're not sure what animal this came from, but it looks like jerky now. A fruit. It's a colorful assortment of mixed fruit. String of beads. The beads are made of carefully hand-polished native wood and shells. Zebra skins. These carefully tanned hides have the unique striped look that tells you they probably once belonged to zebras. Rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. You never can remember which is which. It's easy to tell which is which. Oil. The container's, la the container's label reads Squeaky Greaser, TM. Ho oh, ho ho. Rope. The rope has been finely woven from hemp and other materials. It's mostly fire resistant, but don't try tying up a dragon with it. And very and is very strong, but don't try dragging around an elephant either. Honey. It's golden. It's sticky. Fortunately, it's also in a jar. Wooden leopard. It's a beautifully hand-carved wooden leopard. And fine robe. The robe has been hand-dyed and nicely embroidered. It looks fit for a chief. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and call this an episode, and in the next one, um, we've got to kill some time before we can uh, um, head to the uh, Sambani village. I'll double check to see if there's anything else that I've missed in town. Um, actually, I do need to go find that guy and talk to him, the survivor. We'll try and do that. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll see you all in the next episode.